Good afternoon, guys. So um, today I'm doing a video on uh, a project that I've been planning for uh, most of the winter, but now the weather's starting to warm up, I felt like it was a good time to do it. So I saw a bunch of other videos on YouTube where people were constructing, I guess, a uh, barbecue direct heating uh, brick cooker. I guess that's what I would call it. Uh, I don't want to call it a smoker because it's not. Um, I don't want to call it an indirect cooker because it's not. Um, it, I want to call it a direct cooker because my heating source is going to be right here <clears throat> in the middle of the grill. So the heat source is going to be directly below the meat or whatever I'm cooking. Um, I actually constructed this um, two days ago, broke it down, and did some reconstruction this morning because um, things were uneven and I really wanted things to look right. Um, and even up for myself. So <clears throat> as you can see right now, um, I have a foundation set up and I'm going to bring the camera a little bit closer so you can see what my foundation is. Um, I'm using a combination of bricks here. I have the hollow brick, full brick, and then I have the, what's called a half brick. So I didn't want I saw a bunch of different versions of uh, some, some of what I'm, I'm making or trying to construct here. And I didn't want it to be as big as what I saw in other videos. I wanted something smaller, um, something more compact. So as again, I'll bring the, uh, I'm gonna go grab my uh, camera and I'm gonna bring it just a little bit closer so you guys can see it and um, see exactly what the foundation looks like. <clears throat> so if you can see the uh, foundation on the bottom, what I have is a, uh, a half hollow and then I have a full hollow. This is your, I'll move this right here. This is your, uh, your half hollow. And what I did here, because not, uh, the, uh, I had to actually cut one in half to um, fit one right in there so I could close that space up. And um, on the back, as I pointed out, I have the uh, half full hollow and then I have two of the full hollows. So two on the side here, two on the side here. On the bottom, I have the half, uh, the half, what is it? I guess they're rectangular shaped ones. And then on the back side, I guess a uh, half of a full hollow. So what I'm gonna do right now is, uh, back up a little bit and I'm going to show you uh, how I'm going to construct my grill and um, this probably be part one of the video I, I think uh, eventually I might have to do a couple more things to it but I wanted to get something up um, a video up and, and uh, show you guys my ideal so I'm going to put this uh, camera back real quick and I'm going to show you how I constructed this thing also, also too today uh, I went to a metalworks uh, um, factory or store, whatever you want to call it, and I picked up an addition, some um, additional pieces. Uh, um, I got a bunch of ideas from different people um, and, and what they did. So here you have expanded metal um, and you have two sheets of metal. One of the sheets of metal, the smaller one, okay, that's going to be on the ground because I didn't want my heat source directly on top of the dirt. Uh, the second plate that's going to be the lid for the grill and then over here I have a I guess um, a shield not a shield but actually uh, a, a platform where I'm going to sit on the front of the grill so uh, it's, it's basically going to uh, tighten everything up and and and, uh, and if I need to put some bricks on top of it um, I got what is it called uh, this is a uh, quarter inch steel and uh what i did i uh i had them actually um so it's actually the top of it is eight inches okay and then i add an additional two inches what makes it 10 inches total and at the uh steel uh, location i had them do a, a 90 degree two inch bend for me so i actually have two inches right here so that'll fall right over the front of the grill so what i'm going to do right now is uh and also too i got some l shapes uh uh steel right here and what i'm going to do with these okay i'm going to put these on the side 
where I got my air, where I'm, where I'm going to actually uh, have the air uh, pockets so I can run some air into the, into the grill. And um, I'm going to actually run some, I'll show you real quick what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these things right here and I'll bring them out a little bit and then I'm going to cut some sheet steel and run it along the side so I can actually rotate that metal back and forth to open up those air pockets so I let some so I can let the air go through the bottom and, and, and reach the fire to keep everything going. So let me move back and again I'm just going to uh, start setting some bricks in here and uh, configuring things and, and showing you guys what um, what I want how I want to construct mine. I get a little bit quiet don't mind me these bricks are real heavy so this is the back side of it and another thing like I said um, a lot of the videos that I saw on YouTube people were building you know the, their grills much wider and much taller I wanted something small and more compact because uh, I don't plan on doing any pigs on it. I might do a couple of shoulders and some ribs and some chicken, some steaks and stuff like that. Uh, I have other grills also too, but this is just something that I saw that interested me and I really wanted to, to build something like this. So these are those that L bracket that I told you put these on the side I got one on each I'm gonna put one on each side because I'm going to be able to open up the air vent over here or open up over here and let my air run over this way or I'll let it run that way depending on which way I want to run it so now I'm going to put my top bricks on second layer So now that I got that on, um, again, like I said, this is going to be a direct heating grill, not an indirect. So some of the videos that I saw, I saw people that were putting their stuff directly on the dirt. As, you, as I said, I didn't want to put mine directly on the dirt, my heating source. I'd rather have it on a piece of steel easier to clean doesn't uh get all you don't have all your grease all the grease and particles and food going inside the uh in the ground and the dirt so this is a another piece of steel that i had cut for the center of the grill and this is a uh, quarter inch steel so it's pretty thick and pretty heavy so you can see it's a little bit tight in there 